Now, Johnny Depp's defamation case against Amber Heard continues today, following yet more drama overnight from the star's fourth and final day of testimony. Uh, Ross King, of course, is in Los Angeles for us. Ross, um, just when you think it can't get any more dramatic, it, it does. Yeah, very much so. Um, as you said, that's uh, Johnny Depp finished being cross-examined. There's so much more to come over the next uh, two, three weeks. Uh, in court, he said the only person he abused in his life was himself. Uh, the jury, and remember again, it's quite worth pointing out that obviously that court case that happened in Britain, the judge decided it. This one, a jury will actually decide it. And of course, that's where people are saying, Will it be the sway of, you know, uh, an international superstar, film star? Will that have any sway? Anyway, uh, we'll come to all that again later over the next couple of weeks. Uh, audio recordings played for the jury. Now, also, uh, what had been happening with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard is that they had recorded quite a few of their conversations for uh, couples therapy. So Amber was heard on one of the tapes criticising someone putting a cigarette out on someone else before then Johnny Depp replied to her, shut up, and then insulted her with uh, a weight insult. And another, uh, Johnny Depp said that there would be a bloodbath if uh, he didn't walk away from her. Here's a little bit of what the jury heard. Oh, that's horrendous. I mean, text messages between him um, and one of his friends, who of course is a, a very high profile actor as well, were, were revealed too. Yeah, uh, Paul Bettany, his friend and the actor. Uh, we've talked about these text messages before. Um, they're pretty horrible. Johnny Depp has said that he's ashamed about them. He's embarrassed about them. Uh, he said that Amber Heard despised uh, Paul Bettany because they'd become such close friends and that uh, the feeling was that Paul would actually take Johnny away from her. But also then, uh, Johnny Depp went on to claim that the reason for the text exchange and the words that were used in the text exchange, uh, you know, this was talking about burning Amber Heard and drowning her, uh, we're all basically jokey because they're all based on a Monty Python sketch. Have a listen. Mm, I don't know how that will go down. Um, yeah, it's his last day, isn't it? We're, we're going to hear from, from Amber Heard and uh, this will run and run, as we have said. Shall we move on to Elon Musk buying yeah. Twitter? And, um, and he paid rather a lot, we understand. <laughs> He certainly did, and as we try to move on, there's a possibility that Mr Musk actually might be appearing in this uh, this court as well. Anyway, again, Crazy. more of that later. Um, yeah, how about 40, $44 billion, about uh, £37 million. Uh, Elon Musk is now the proud owner of Twitter. Uh, for that same amount of money, he could have taken 798 flights to the International Space Station with his aerospace firm SpaceX. Mm. Uh, the tickets for that are £55 million. How much is uh, Elon Musk actually worth? 264 and a half, and a half, uh, the half's always important, billion dollars. So anyway, uh, he put in this bid less than a couple of weeks ago. He's saying Twitter had tremendous potential uh, that he could unlock. So Twitter yesterday said free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy and Twitter is the digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. What does it actually mean for Twitter users? Well, he's talking about a push for more freedom of speech in the app. Uh, you could see the option of being able to moderate, even self-edit existing tweets. Uh, he wants to eliminate spam, but he'll maybe allow users back who've been banned. Obviously, Donald Trump, one of those. Uh, all those Trump saying that he's not going to come back. And then uh, Twitter's algorithm and how tweets get displayed uh, to the public will be made uh, even more transparent. So a uh, very mixed reaction to all of this, as you can imagine. It's a funny old day, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is, Ross. Thank you for brightening it up. Thank you for talking to me this morning. I'll talk to you, you. very soon, probably tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you very much. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.